What is up guys, it's Serum here and welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title today, I'm bringing you episode 3 of the AFL Evolution face scan requests. Thank you all so much for your support in this series, it really means a lot to me and keeps me working hard to bring you more content. First and foremost in the player face scans, we have the recently retired Dane Swan. Swanny has his signature tats on his legs and right arm, however I either wasn't able to figure out his left arm tats or they weren't included in the demo files. It's a decent likeness to Swan from afar, but as we get a little bit closer it does seem somewhat incomplete to me, uh, but that could well be because the developers didn't have it completed in time for the demo release. Still not a bad likeness though, and the tats really help bring the player model together, so I'm not at all disappointed with this one if it will be in the full release of the game. Second up we have Geelong's Super Tom in Tommy Hawkins. Hawkins has that chiseled face structure that he has become so widely known for, and he has the well-kempt hair, giving him the model-esque image he always seems to present whenever he's on the footy field. A good resemblance to Tommy, and one of the best ones in the game in my opinion. A lot of the Geelong boys do have a good one, and I might be bringing you Bartel in the next episode. Next up, we have the man, the myth, the package, the Premier's Jake Stringer. Stringer shares somewhat of a resemblance to the actual player, but with a man who sports so many different hairstyles, it was probably hard to choose the right one. Not a bad likeness by any means, but can be improved on and would likely be improved on by the time the game is released. Still a good one for Stringer there though. Next up we have Richmond's gun defender in Alex Rance. Rance's player bears a striking resemblance to him, even down to the scar above his eyebrow. A really well done head scan, his structure seems to be one of the best likenesses of any player in the actual game, so I'm really happy about the effort that they've put into this head scan. Uh, but next up we have a highly requested one in the Sydney Swans, Aaliyah Aaliyah. Coming off an impressive season in 2016 and a good start to the 2017 season, it's great to have his face scan in the game. Alir is a surprisingly underrated talent, but I'm very glad that the developers were smart enough to afford him a decent head scan. So that's a really, really good one. I don't have any complaints. They even have the piercings on this one, so that's, that's great all in all. Uh, but now moving on, we have Melbourne's gun recruit and the man who was recently suspended in Jordan Lewis. Lewis looks incredibly old in his face scan and I don't think he looks quite that old in real life, but his structure is still definitely there. Uh, his hair isn't up to date, but rather resembles a freshly groomed Lewis from the 2016 season. Still a pretty good likeness there though, and no complaints about that one either. So next up we have Port Adelaide's big man and one who might be missing a few weeks for his actions in the Adelaide showdown, Paddy Ryder. Ryder's face scan isn't the worst one in the game, but it's definitely not the best. While I can still tell who this is meant to be, something about it doesn't really feel like Paddy, but that could just be me. But regardless, I'm interested in hearing what you guys think about this one, so let me know in the comments below. The next face scan I have for you is St Kilda's Josh Bruce, who I think has also been done justice in his face scan too. Aside from his beard texture not quite sitting on his face the way it's meant to, Bruce still looks the part and has his hair tied up, which has become his signature look. Really impressed with this one and think it's done what it's meant to do. Um, and aside from a texture that I'm sure will be fixed, it's another hit from Wicked Witch there. Now we're on to another one that was in demand in Geelong's Stephen Motlop. Motlop looks pretty good here too. I love that his hair is captured so well and how his youthfulness is still there after all these years. Really think they've done a good job on this one also with very little to complain about and he's one of my favourite forwards uh, in the league today. Next up and we have North Melbourne's Tall Timber and that's obviously Big Bad Big Benny Ben Ben Brown. Brown has a sufficient likeness to the player he's meant to be, although I'm not a huge fan of his hair up close. I'm sure it will look better in-game, but up close it kind of looks like there are gaps in his texture and I'm not at all a fan of that. Not a bad scan, but I wouldn't say it's one of my favourites by any means. Next up and we have the West Coast Eagles, Luke Shuey. I actually really like this one, um, but I didn't have high expectations when I was about to view it. Um, it is a really good representation of Shuey, and he's sporting the beard with his razor sharp hairstyle. It's a good one, so no issues with that one at all. Onwards and upwards, and we've got the giant sharpshooter in big old Jeremy Cameron. Cameron looks pretty good, but I feel like he could do with a bit more facial hair. Aside from that, I don't think it's a bad scan by any means, and the detail in it is very well done. Um, now that is the last male player I've got for you, but now I've got an exclusive bonus in-game model of the AFLW's 
Darcy Vescio from the Carlton Football Club. She looks pretty close to what I remember her looking like during the AFLW season, so I've got no real issues with it. I probably won't play a lot of AFLW in the game, but I suppose it's a nice addition regardless. That does unfortunately bring us to the end of this episode. I'd like to once again thank you all for your support. Having spoken with Wicked Witch, I know the gameplay trailer is not too far away, so hopefully we'll be able to see some things in that that I haven't even been able to share with you. As always, leave your suggestions and requests for episode 3 below, give the video a big 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 bad Benny Ben Ben Brown thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and leave a comment if you feel so inclined. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you later.